Tommy Jones to start with Charlie. What do you know about his injury and the recovery? Uh, yeah, I just sort of heard then uh, he'll be uh, going in for surgery in um, probably four to six weeks, um, hopefully. So um, he'll be back in finals, ready to go. So nothing too serious. How big a blow is that, mate? For your back line, he's enormous, isn't he? He is enormous, but uh, he's sort of been in and out the last couple of weeks, so um, might do him some good to sort of rest the body, rest of the rest of the body up. But uh, we've got some really good depth at the moment, and uh, pomshi has been great every time he's come back. And um, uh, you know, we've got Trent, who's uh, who came back in the mags yesterday as well. So. We got plenty of depth there, and um, plenty of boys who we can rotate through there. Before you got here, Homshi was almost one of the best defenders in the AFL. I mean, you probably would have spent a time playing against him. Yeah, how have you seen him since he's been out of the side? I think he's just the way that sort of our team sort of has gelled together at the moment, and um, he's sort of just been uh, sort of fill in when we when we've needed. He's still in unbelievable form. It's just really stiff with you know who we got playing, who we got and how they are playing so and that's it's not a bad thing i mean it's it's unlucky for homer but um he, he's he's ready to step up and and take you know every opportunity he can charlie's it definitely not sure could someone like and mckenzie or even joe leonard who was pretty good yesterday come in and play well? well that's it i mean that's up to the coaches to sort of come um to make that decision but um we'll we'll find out the next sort of week have you seen have you seen leonard's form like what you see what you see yeah, Lino's been been really good the last couple of weeks, and um, coming back from his knee surgery, he's been really strong. So he's pushing for that, and I, I know the coaches will want to have a look at him. Charlie, we know you're not one to really go back and analyse the games too much, but what do you sort of take out of the win on the weekend? Um, I think uh, there's a lot to take out of it because we weren't sort of at our best, but we were still able to um, sort of push and then get a few goals goals ahead and stuff like that, but. I think there's um, some areas where we need to be able to sort of uh, keep tightening the screws and keep keep scoring and uh, um, been able to run over teams where we sort of haven't been able to do that in the last sort of you know this year or all previous years you know so um, we sort of find a way to win hard but um, yeah we just got to keep moving forward. I do you, why do you, do you think, think you're that? close to getting to that point? Because you said a couple of weeks in a row where you found a way to win ugly and that's great. Poor fans haven't seen that for a while, but. Is there? Are you close to finding that bit where you put the foot down and go, "Oh, we're probably a good chance to win by ten goals here once we really get going." Um, I think so. We'd, we've just got to stick to our system for four quarters, and and I think we tend to get up, get up a couple of goals and then probably take the foot off a little bit. So um, yeah, well, we're hoping it, it it can click, but in the day we're still winning, and and that's that's a good thing. Why do you think it is at the moment that you are able to win even when you're not at the best? Is that a maturity thing, or is that just the group being together a few more years? Or oh, I'd say it's probably maybe all of those sort of things. But I I think when it comes down to it, the boys know when to dig in and know how to dig in and and to get the win. And we, you know, like it's it's nothing better than winning. So we were just I suppose it's everyone's just sort of digging in and trying to keep that sort of feeling and momentum going. It's a fun. The next big challenge to, to put a side away as Max Tashman. Um, I'd say so. I think, nah, it'd actually be probably a challenge to be for us just to play four quarters the way we want to play consistent throughout that throughout, throughout the game. Where we, I don't think we've done that sort of this year even. Is but you know that's another challenge for us is to get everything right and um, yeah keep winning. What's been the most pleasing part during this five game streak? Winning, apart <laughs> from the obvious winning, I should uh, that. Um, I just think uh, all over the ground we have we have players stand up and not the not just the leaders. It's um, you know, young players like Houston's been unreal the last few weeks, and I think all over the ground we have blokes who are standing up, taking on roles, and um, and yeah, just doing what they need to for the team. Charlie, what about your, your own form, mate? How, how do you find it? Um, you obviously haven't kicked it. Pack of the goals, I think it's 17 and 15. Pre-season, you said it's my forward line, but you've been asked to do a bunch of different roles. So how have you assessed how you've gone? Um, yeah, not too bad. I think I, I've got a lot of lot of stuff to still work on. I mean, I'm still working on my craft and still trying to get better in every aspect of my game. And um, I, I just had to, I'm just got to do what the team asked me for. And if that's going on the ruck, I'll go on the ruck. And then um, if it's just crash packs, bring the ball to the ground for the boys, and you know, that's that's what I'll do. I was just lucky enough to get it on the end of a couple on the weekend. Well, there must be part as a big key forward that when you do slot a few to go, okay, that's uh, quite a nice <laughs> feeling in the end.
Yeah, it's always nice kicking goals, mate. <laughs> mate, Port's second favourite for the flag now today. Um, how does that sit with the team having those lofty uh, expectations now from the outside world? Well, that's what you guys do. You always make a lot of noise outside, and I think it's we've just got to focus on the way each week for us and the way we want to play. And I mean, whatever comes comes, and I think we just stick to what we know and. Um, and uh, that's playing our, our brand of footy and, and winning one game at a time. A few are pretty well poised, though, couldn't you? Obviously, a lot of guys who are you know, sort of 27, 27 year old, 27, 28 year old age bracket played over 100 games. A lot of experience in this team. Yeah, I think so. And, and that's sort of, we got another one, Polly, next week um, playing his 100th. So, and I think that's just, it, we're in a really good spot at the moment, and we've got a really good list and strong, uh, strong boys coming through as well. So, uh, I mean, I'm really happy with the list and who we've got playing and who we've got coming up as well and we're just in a really good place at the moment. We just gotta keep keep our heads on and uh, keep moving forward. Charlie, were you ever fine. frustrated mate when you when you weren't hitting the scoreboard and you were being asked to do different roles? And if you were, like, how did you get through those patches where the scoreboard sort of wasn't telling you that you're you know kicking goals? Um, I can I tend to get pretty frustrated anyway and just running around out there. But um no it's it can be definitely, but if we're winning and we're scoring, it's you know it doesn't matter. Like whoever's kicking goals, as long as we're kicking goals and winning, it, it doesn't matter. Like I'll do what I have to for the team, and you know different roles. I mean, I like playing in the ruck because it gets me around the ball, and then I can throw my body around a little bit, and uh, yeah, get my hands on the pill. But other than that, mate, it's uh, can't be too frustrating when you're winning. Can you talk to us a bit about Justin Westhoff? What's it been like playing with him this season? He seems to uh, never get old. Well, that's it. He's like a fine wine. Really gets uh, better with age. He's he's fine along, and I love watching him play. He's uh, he's everywhere. He's got such a big tank. He's missed to fix it. You know, the coaches love to throw him down back, up forward in the midfield. You know I mean, he does whatever he has to for the team, and that's what you want. You want you know you want uh, a whole squad that's willing to do what Hoff does every week. You know, so no, I I love playing with him and love watching him, and he's he, like you said, he's getting better. Yeah, uh, the comp's so tight um, this year. It doesn't matter. Anyone on their day can beat anyone. And we think um, going over there, it's going to be a tough challenge for us. But we'll go in with the same mindset we have for the last five weeks and, and uh, yeah, try to take it to them. What about kicking goals, Charlie? Have you found your... Uh, radar this year. Have you happy with the way you've been kicking to goal? Things to improve on? Oh, probably not. I mean, I think uh, I went away from some things that I, I used to do and that sort of set my routine away early in the year and I've sort of just gone back to what I know and and um, it's still not working quite as well as I'd like to, but hey, it's, at the end of the day, like, it's it's a demanding sport and it's a demanding position we play in the four line. I mean, it's all over the comp where players are struggling to, in front of goal and it's um but I'm all us boys are all we're all working on our craft and trying to um simulate sort of in games because you never really in training you're never as gassed as you are when you're in, in a game and and line up in front of goal and uh having the 30 seconds to uh count down it's um goes a lot quicker than you think obviously from what <laughs> I've been through but um it's uh no it's it's different and um I think yeah, you just got to be able to um, steady yourself in 30 seconds and go back and yeah, kick a goal. But uh, it's a bit harder than what people think. How do you deal with that mentally when sometimes you'll be out there, you'll be 60 out and you'll put it straight through the middle and sometimes you'll be 20 out and it doesn't go anywhere near where you want it to go. How do you sort of deal with those sort of ups and downs mentally? Uh, well, you just got to try and move on and like as hard as it is, um, here in the crowd, here in your teammates here in the opposition and stuff like that you just got to try and zone out and uh kick exactly the way you would if you're 20 out from 60 out all the same and uh, but that's the thing you don't do that you're like oh i'm just there i'll just poke it through and ends up coming with a side boot and going out in the full like i'm sort of normally good at for once a game but um no it's it's just how it is um in the moment i suppose and trying to wrap your head around um yeah going through your routine and locking in and and um yeah, try and kick goals. I see Ben Brown. Last couple really guys, last couple. He's really, you know, I suppose unique and long run up when he has a set shot. Is that something you might consider or happy with the way you're sort of doing it? Well, that's him and the, the, everyone's different, I suppose. And like you see, he kicks the ball really well and maybe I should have a look at that and have a bit longer run up. But um, no, he's uh, he's got his, his kicking goal in and, you know, so 
take take that for what it is, I suppose. But I mean, everyone's different. And everyone sort of kicks the ball differently. Charlie, what do you think about umpires now being given, I suppose, the freedom to call players on after Jake Stringer, after he sort of deliberately, you know, wasted that foot and used his whole 30 seconds, and now umpires can call players on if they think they're ready to kick. I don't know. That's if that's the rules, that's what they can do. Um, I didn't. Even, I don't know what exactly you're talking about, but um, yeah, no, I don't know. The umpires have got their rules that they can do, and what they think um, in the time, then they'll call it. I suppose. Charlie, finally, second on the table. Sorry, Jack. Second on the table. Probably a position you haven't really been in in your career. So how, how desperate are you? And do you tell your teammates that you know, some may have played in finals, and you've got to make sure that as precious a situation as this is to really make the most of it. Uh, not. I don't think we've sort of spoken at all about the ladder and where we are, like, in games or in training or anything like that. I think it's just sticking to what we know and what we have been doing for the last few weeks to get us into this position. So it's definitely not too much talk, but there are a few boys that have played a lot of finals and um, some that haven't played any. So, I mean, I've played one and that's it. But, um, no, I think we've just got to keep playing the way we're playing and um, try to improve um, each week. How do you enjoy getting out here with the kids? Yeah, it's always good. You're, they're always super pumped to see us, and um, no, we'll have a good show out. There seems to be heaps of, heaps of young fellas here and girls, so no, looking forward to it. Thanks, Charlie.